Sup y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and a few months ago, whenever I was streaming, I made a donation goal for $60, and that $60 was to buy a level 100 character boost for a rogue so that I could create a full, complete, start-to-finish guide on how to create the legendary Dragon Soul Daggers, Fangs of the Father. And guys, I'm sure a lot of people have forgotten, I'm sure a lot of people don't remember this, but I do. And today is the day that I deliver on that promise. I'm going to give you guys a start to finish guide on how to create the legendary Dragon Soul Daggers Fangs of the Father with my new level 100 rogue, Swag Donalds. So anyway guys, let's go ahead and begin. The first place you want to go is Dragon Soul. Now I'll show you guys where Dragon Soul is on the map and this pretty much the whole daggers in themselves, uh, it pretty much has to do with the Dragon Soul raid just so you guys know that. Now if you don't know where Dragon Soul is, you can go right down to Tanaris and uh, right inside the cavern of time you go right down the little thing there and uh, you can go right inside uh, there's like another map and one of the little uh, entryways says dragon soul you want to go in there after you go inside dragon soul you talk to this guy lord alpha Straz, and you pick up the quest proving your worth now this quest requires you to pickpocket hagara hagara is the fourth boss in dragon soul so you do have to kill the uh, the first three and then go up to the top of the uh, of the tower and then go inside the portal kill the trash and then you'll reach hagara once you reach hagara you have to pickpocket her, which requires you to be in stealth. Don't run up to her without stealth on. And then, uh, obviously, you can just spellbook uh, uh, pickpocket right out of your, uh, you know, obviously your spellbook. And uh, just click it, and that's going to give you the Cryptomancer's Decoder Ring. If for whatever reason you fuck it up, uh, I, I, I don't know how you could, but if you do, you could just go ahead and vanish and try again. It's not really too big of a deal. Just make sure that you don't kill her because you cannot pickpocket her when she's dead. So after you go ahead and uh, pickpocket her, go back down to the bottom of the Wormrest Temple and then just uh, turn in the quest. Now, this whole area, it has to do kind of with Rathion. Now, Rathion is the the only pure, uh, this is the understanding that I have, the only pure uh, black dragon because, uh, or like, I guess, what is it? Is it black? Yeah, I guess, um, from the black dragon fight because uh, obviously Naltherion, who's a uh, Deathwing, and uh, by the way, right here, as soon as you get this quest, after you get this quest, I'll kind of explain the lore in little bits and pieces whenever I have a chance. You need to go over to Twilight Highlands and fly right down there. And uh, Rathion is the last uh, pure um, black dragon, and that's why you saved his egg, I believe, in um, in Badlands. So it's very, very important that uh, you know he's able to destroy his father, so that uh, you know his father doesn't well destroy the whole world because it's a fucking cataclysm, right? So anyway, guys, uh, you go down to the uh, um, the uh, Twilight Highlands and you go inside this little tree. Now inside this tree, uh, you talk to this person, Cora Straza, and um, you know these are all like dragon people too. And you just go ahead and talk to her. Now this is a multi-part message, or not multi-part message, but it kind of is actually. Um, so you talk to her and then you get the uh, the cipher and then after you get the cipher what you have to do is you have to go all the way over to uh, Stormwind and once you get the Stormwind you have to talk to one of the ethereals inside the uh, uh, the little what is this like area it's like all the like little ethereals with like void storage and stuff and so this guy right here talk to him the Thermithuge whatever the fuck his name is who knows um, and uh, that's where it is by the way on the map if anybody's confused I don't know where it is for Horde because I'm assuming Horde don't have to go in here I uh, go ahead and talk to him can you charge my cryptomancer's decoder ring and then you click that and uh, i had to pay ten thousand gold and like i just made this character right so i didn't have any money uh, and so i actually had to, uh, some people uh, really kind of did help me out <laughs> and so i thought that i would uh, ten thousand i kill you while you sleep and then he's like yo okay i'm gonna have to pay ten thousand gold so i wasn't really very happy about that so we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward to whenever i did have the ten thousand gold and so I go ahead and I'll talk to him, and he's going to charge your decoder ring. Now, this part is kind of annoying. I mean, honestly, guys, it's, it's pretty stupid. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and pay the 10,000 gold that, uh, again, people were very, very generous to give me. Thank you very much. I wish I still had the screenshot of the mail of the people who did send this to me. And so after you get the decoder ring charged, then what you have to do is you have to wait for 12 hours. And uh, I thought this was really ridiculous. And so... Guys, like, uh, you know, I know we're playing a rogue, but uh, just real quick, guys, I'm going to be a wizard. <laughs> Look at that. 12 hours just went by so quick. Okay, so anyway, I guess that was really kind of stupid. But anyway, I thought, like, in my head it would be a lot more funny, right? So anyway, guys, um, then you go ahead and you click the ring after 12 hours, and um, you go ahead and solve the cipher. And now that you have all three parts complete, you go ahead and fly back to the Twilight Highlands. And this is also, like, I think that Cataclysm, guys... 
Cataclysm did, in my opinion, the best job of making the most epic and amazing uh, legendary quests in the entire game. I mean, of course, Thunder Fury is really great, but, you know, Shadow Morn is really great, but I really do think that Dragonwrath was probably the best legendary that's ever been created, and Fangs of the Father was also really, really cool in itself. What I really liked about Fangs of the Father is that what you guys are going to see in a minute, you obviously go ahead and talk to her, and then you have to talk to this guy right here, I think it's somebody else, and uh, he turns into a dragon, and he flies you over to Ravenholt, which is where Rathion is. So anyway, um, I just think they did such a great job in not only making challenges for your entire raid to go through, but also challenges for the individual player to go through as well. And so you guys are going to see in a couple of minutes here, uh, there's going to be these little, uh, actually right now, um, there's going to be these little kind of things that you have to do as a rogue where it's like you have to stealth through. It's kind of like a like Splinter Cell or something like that, like one of those uh, like stealth games like Assassin's Creed. And so you have to stealth through and get inside Ravenhold Manor without being detected. Now, this was obviously a lot harder at level 85 whenever the mobs had a larger aggro range. But whenever you're level 100, it's extremely easy to do and you don't need to worry about it at all. So you go ahead and pick up that quest and uh, then you have like his little vision. And so you can see, obviously, you don't want to make sure that you run through any of these mobs. Now, um, as you guys can see, I'm doing this for my first time. This is very, very easy to do. So there's no real reason that anybody should have any trouble doing any of these as long as you're level 100. And if you're doing this in Legion, it's going to be even easier. If you find a guy like that, you can just sap him. I don't know what happens if you just one-shot them and kill them. I have no idea. Go to the back of Ravenholm Manor. Go ahead and click on this little rope. And that's going to take you up to the top. And now you're going to be climbing all the way down. Now, as I said, I think this is just like the coolest shit ever, and um, I originally did this, see, we're going to be doing half of this on Swag Donalds, and the other half on Sneaky McStab, and the reason for that is because I, uh, I actually did this initial part on my Rogue, I leveled my Rogue up to level 85 back in Cataclysm, just to actually get this part done, because I had no idea. And so here, I didn't notice, like, there's a little box that you have to click on, I never even saw that, so I'll show you guys uh, myself, like, kind of finding it also at the same time, and so see, there's the box out. Obviously, it's a little bit lit up, and so you can obviously see what you're supposed to do. You go ahead and stealth down there, and um, then there's the actual guy. Now, I don't really remember, like, all of the specifics for this quest, like, what is, like, really the lore that's involved, but, um, you know, like, some crazy shit goes down. I'm not really going to show too many of the cinematics, or not really much of them, just because, uh, you, you know, I think that other people can see that, and this is more of a guide on how to get them, and so after you get down to the bottom of the Ravenholt Manor, then you get a little bit of a cutscene, and it's this fucking guy, Rathion, what I tell you guys, that's right, mortal, the prize you seek no longer sleeps within the shell, here I am in the flesh and so there he is I, I thought they had scales not flesh anyway we have much to talk about and uh, yes we do because the guide is not even halfway done so anyway you go ahead and talk to him and um, then you don't have to do any more stealth or anything like that or at least not for this little part of it and then you come right up to the top and uh, the dr black dragon fight disguise themselves as humanoids and so yeah that's so a lot of these guys that you're talking to are actually going to end up being dragons which I always thought was really really cool and so um, go up to the second level and follow Rathion and after he does a little bit of RP you can go ahead and turn in this quest now after this this is like probably the coolest part of the entire area is you have to go back into Gilnea City Which really has been like criminally underused honestly. It's one of the coolest places in the game I think um, you have to go inside there and infiltrate Gilnea and then you had to fight a uh, a very very difficult NPC uh, And I'll show you guys how difficult he still is right now uh, in just a second after I get in there But you had to fight him and like hide him around and do all kinds of different like really crazy rogue stuff but uh, now it is just a little bit easier. And so anyway, uh, you go ahead and talk to that guy, and you get the quest, Assassin, uh, was it Assassinate Creed or something like that. So obviously you guys can see, you know, where they got that from. And you just go ahead and go right in through here. Now all of this, all of this is very, very easy, as I've said before, because you are level, uh, level 100, the mobs have a smaller aggro range. So just make sure that you don't really run over any of them, and just do your best to get through there. And if you do get caught, you just have to start it over again. It's not really too big of a deal. Now, I am going to show you guys the entire clip of this, just so you guys can see the path that I took and what was easy for me. And again, this is myself doing this. I didn't watch any guides. I didn't watch any anything. I just pretty much, you know, I was like, fuck, how hard can it be, right? So I just went and did it. And uh, as you guys can see, it's really not going to be very difficult at all. And if you do, as I said before, 
if you do come into a situation where you feel like you have to like go through somebody you can just sap them and uh, here was like kind of a pretty uh, I guess like a pretty hairy area I, I didn't even know but apparently you can sap the uh, the dogs too I had no idea you could do that and then so you can just run right through them go right in through here and uh, again guys this is like such a I, I don't know why, but I just can't get over how cool this fucking thing is. Like, I, I really did have a good time doing this the first time. But because my character was so shitty, I was actually really glad whenever I came up here, whenever I was doing it the first time, somebody else ha helped me kill this guy. And I'll show you guys how hard he is to kill now. Got him. So anyway, uh, go ahead and kill him, and uh, then you can go ahead and turn in the quest, Assassinate Creed, and I believe this takes you back to Ravenhold. And so, this is the first part of the quest. Now, you're going to get three sets of these daggers. You're going to get the first set, Fear and Vengeance, the second set, the Sleeper and the Dreamer, and the third set, I don't remember, those are the legendary daggers. They have really long yellow names, Goliad and, and Triad or something like that, I don't know. But the first set is called Fear and Vengeance, and um, uh, they, they all, all three of the sets do look pretty cool. So anyway, after you go ahead and do that, you can turn in your quest and you get your first set of the legendary daggers. Now, there's no real reason to use these outside of just like for, like if you wanna just like look cool or whatever. So you go back to Ravenhold and uh, turn in the quest, you get your daggers, and then you get the first uh, collection quest, which is Cluster Clutch, right? Cluster Clutch, yeah. And that's going to allow you or require you to collect 333 shadowy gems. Now, you collect these aluminium clusters off of each boss in Dragon Soul, and you break up the clusters to get the shadowy gems. So we're going to go back over to Caverns of Time. As you guys can see, that's the little Caverns of Time map there, and go right down to Dragon Soul. Now, you want to make sure that you do this on 25-man heroic. And the reason for that is that that's going to give you the most gold, and also it's going to give you the most gems. So... You obviously want to get this done as fast as possible, so make sure you do it on 25-man heroic. Now, if you're having trouble soloing any of these bosses on 25-man heroic, um, the only one that could maybe give you guys trouble would be maybe Hagara if she goes into her lightning phase. And uh, I'll show you guys real quick. So I just made like 130 gold just from killing him, and I also got two aluminium gem clusters. And I'll show you guys myself breaking them up. Now, each cluster gives between, I think it's like, like three and like nine uh, clusters. So uh, I'll show you guys at the end of the run how many clusters I got total. And if you're having any trouble soloing any of these bosses that are doing too much damage to you, make sure that you apply Leeching Poison, and uh, Leeching Poison will give you 10% Leech, so your damage will be able to outheal pretty much any damage that you're going to take. So after I complete the entire instance, uh, this is how, much, uh, how many gems that I have. So I have 81, and let's see how many, 87 gems. And so 87 times 2 is 300, and about 370. 370 times 2 so it's going to be about three or four weeks in order to complete all of the gems which in this video is about three to four seconds so anyway guys another time traveler you know and um anyway i, I guess well, we're doing things for the black dragon flight but i sure feel like i'm bronze but anyway uh that was that was really nerdy wow okay so anyway uh after you get all three all 333 of the shadowy gems you go right back to hillsbrad foothills uh back to ravenholt manor and this is going to be, I believe, the second part of the uh, stealth quest. Now, you have to do three, well, I guess, I guess it is three quests, uh, three stealth quests. You have to do the one to go into Ravenholt, then the one to go into Gilneas, and then the one after that to go into Karazhan, which is what I'm about to show you. So you go ahead and talk to Rathion, turn in the clusters, and then you go to Karazhan. Now, Karazhan has also, uh, Karazhan has been used a pretty good amount. Like, I, I'm... I'm satisfied with how much people have used Karazhan, or how much they've used Karazhan over the years, but I do hope that they add a little bit more of it. I did hear that in Legion we're going to get a five-man dungeon that's going to take place in Karazhan as well, but we'll have to see if that actually happens. Fly down to Karazhan and talk to this guy right here, and it's going to be another stealth quest, and uh, Karazhan obviously is at the bottom of Eastern Kingdoms, for anybody that doesn't know. So you go ahead and talk to him, and um, here I actually spent a little bit extra time because I went down the, the wrong area. So uh, you have to go ahead and get the vial of drac of a god damn um, a black dragon's blood, and so you go ahead and just uh, go ahead and stealth right through here. Again, uh, you don't really need to worry too much about aggroing these mobs because you are a much higher level, so they have a decreased aggro radius, uh, as you guys will be able to see in just a second here. So it, right right in here, there are two different pathways that you can go down. You can go down to the right or to the left. And the right way is actually the wrong way. And um, I made a decision that to go uh, the wrong way. That's where you're supposed to go. This is where you're not supposed to go. I went down there. So we're just going to cut ahead. Um, so then you go down to the left, which is where you're supposed to go. And you go all the way down here. See, I just ran right through that guy. Didn't even aggro. And as soon as you get down to the main uh, area here, go ahead and take a right. And uh, you just go all the way down here. And as you guys can see, 
make sure also that you have burst of speed like burst of speed is just going to help you get through things just a little bit quicker and there's really no reason to do not to have that and then you go to Nalus here go ahead oh there it is she's dead it's easy right um so go ahead and kill her and then after that i believe you get ported back yeah yeah you do get ported back and uh, this is where you begin your second collection quest and the second collection quest is basically the same as the first one but instead of actually breaking up the clusters you're actually going to be collecting the clusters themselves now after you go ahead and turn this in you get a quest victory in the depths and then that's when you get your second level of the daggers the sleeper and the dreamer and that's what you have to do is go all the way back to Ravenholt Manor and you turn this in and that's going to give you again the second level of the daggers and they do look a little bit cooler. And so anyway guys this is actually where, um, I'll show you guys in a second. So you go ahead and turn in the vial and make sure you have fear and vengeance with you so you can turn those in at the same time. You can unfortunately not hold on to those to transmog them later on, it's the same as uh, Shadow's Edge. Which is kind of disappointing but that's the way it goes. And uh, then you get the quest sharpening your fangs and you have to turn in 60 aluminium gem clusters. And this is actually, um, well, I'll show you guys what the daggers look like. I didn't show you guys the first step, but it's not really too big of a deal. Um, they basically look like uh, just a little bit shittier versions of those. And this is where Swag Donald's, uh, this is where his journey ends. And it's where Sneaky McStab's journey begins. And I, the reason for that is because I have footage of my rogue completing the majority of the, uh, the end of the legendary quest, but not the beginning. And because that was back in Cataclysm. And so after you collect all of the clusters, I uh, just go and do it in 25 man heroic. I did forget to show myself collecting the clusters and turning that in. But then after that, you get a quest called Patricide. And uh, obviously, that's whenever you kill your father, which is whenever uh, you have to go and actually kill Deathwing for the first time. Well, I guess you really have to kill him for the first time. It doesn't matter what difficulty you kill him on, though. Go ahead and just kill Deathwing, and uh, after you kill him, you can go ahead and loot the fragment of Deathwing's jaw from the madness of the uh, madness of Deathwing cache right here. The the piece of his jaw, I guess, that you loot all the uh, the other items uh, out of. And so I'll show you guys uh, that right here in a second here. And as you guys can see, I got Girthlack, fragment of Deathwing's jaw, and no Blazing Drake. Maybe next week. I'll get it next week for sure. Anyway. Um, so you go ahead and you can pick up the fragment of Deathwing's jaw, and I know that it doesn't show the Sleeper and the Dreamer as being complete, but I don't really know why that is, that's obviously a bug, and so you just go back, make sure that you have the two daggers in your inventory, and then you can go ahead and turn those in to Rathion, and that's going to give you Golad, Twilight of the Aspects, and Tirash, Nightmare of the Ages, and um, I think it's Tirash, or I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. So anyway, you come back to Ravenhole Manor, and you're like, yo shit, everything's on fire! Right, so that's that's obviously not that's not a good thing, right? Because that's usually not the way it goes. And uh, your eyes do not deceive you. The treacherous red dragon fight sought to kill me off. I hope now you see the truth about them. And I, as I said, I do really like the Rathion storyline. I uh, I don't know why. I just think it's really really cool. And so, um, what did my father? And then so you turn in the fragment of Deathwing's jaw along with these two second levels of the Sleeper and the Dreamer. And then you're going to go ahead and get the, uh, the the legendary daggers, the fangs of the father. Now, the fangs of the father are really, really, I mean, they obviously look really, really cool. But they also have a really cool effect that I'm going to show you guys in just a minute here. Now, after you go ahead and turn it in, you do get a little cutscene where uh, this guy right here. And uh, see this guy, remember this guy right here, this, this cock boy at the beginning where you had to go around him? Uh, I don't remember what the hell his name was, but anyway, uh, Farad, Farad. So Farad is like, I, I think he's like kind of trying to infiltrate uh, like Rathion's area and like kill him because he was like getting too, too difficult for them to control and they wanted to get rid of Rathion because I don't really know why they wanted to get rid of him. Honestly, I did. I don't really see why it would make a lot of sense. I think that they thought that he was still, uh, I guess, like, tainted by Deathwing since he's a, since Deathwing is his father. But uh, who knows, honestly. And so then uh, Rathion is channeling this big, uh, like, purple beam. Or no, I guess it's actually black, right? Because he's a black dragon. And so then after that, um, you pretty much have to stab this guy. Strike now finishes. See, I always thought this was really cool as well. So you do some kind of, like, fucking, like, Highlander shit or whatever. And you jump on top of this guy. And see, you've got the wings up there. And, like, then you're coming down. And you stab that fucking dragon. It's awesome, right? Like, this is, like, a really, really cool part of the... Uh, 
uh, of the quest line. So anyway, go ahead and turn this in. In my life, I'm the only Black Dragon who remains. Well, I guess we're talking about Highlander a minute ago, so it kind of makes sense, right? So you go ahead and you can uh, talk to turn in the uh, this right here, and then you're going to actually be able to uh, get the daggers. Now the daggers are very very good for time walking. They're pretty much the best things that you can get, but at the same time, uh, you know there aren't really a whole lot of really great rogue options anyway. The daggers do look really really cool. Every single time I log out on my rogue, I make sure that I have them. Rathion then turns into a little whelp and flies away and then spends an entire expansion on next to Cadgar's tower just chilling doing nothing so anyway uh there's the achievement fangs of the father and uh again guys i want to say something i really really enjoy doing these guides i wish i could do one of these every day um i really do i wish i could do a guide for the original sands of the uh um, step through the Shifting Sands questline. I really wish I could do it. I really enjoy doing these long, really well thought out, and, you know, really well developed, great storylines that this game has created. And uh, on top of that, showing you guys how to get a very, very cool reward, such as the Fangs of the Father. And, I, man, I really should have gotten a better transmog before I, uh, before I did this video. But anyway, guys, I'll show you guys something else. So not only do you have the daggers, and the daggers have a pretty pretty neat little effect, um, also you can click on the daggers and they give you like these wings that, that you just, guys just saw a second ago, and they allow you to uh, slow your falling speed. And so I'll just go up to, uh, you know, like, kind of like a nearby like little ledge, and I'll show you guys how that works. And so you go ahead and get up to the top, and click on that, and you get that little buff right there, and that slows your falling speed. Embrace of the Destroyer. And so I think it looks really, really cool. Kind of feel like, de uh, not Deathwing, uh, feel, feel like Illidan a little bit. And so anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, so I really, really hope you guys like this video because I really, really put a lot of fucking effort into it. But um, other than that, I more than that, I really hope this helped you guys. And I hope this helped you guys enjoy something that I find very, very enjoyable and fun in the game. So that's pretty much all I've got. Thank you for watching and like, comment, and subscribe.